What's going on? I'm back to the bottom job pad again, and uh, me and Mr. Pete's. We got out here, there's 11 trucks here. Hi, oh, Petey. Come here, Petey. I guess he wants to say hi. Petey came here to say hi. He says, Hello. Hello, everybody. Say hello, Petey. Say hello, Petey. He comes over, says hello, and then he goes back to his spot. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about something a little different. Is uh, there's a YouTuber that put out a video and just complain about pack car motors. Packard, not motors, so the, the pack car in general, Kenworth Peterbilt. Um, apparently he's got a 660 or 680 or whatever that was broken down that he just got out of. Um, I got news, all trucks break. If you don't know, I'm sitting in a pack car truck right now, it's W900, which is W900, W800, same thing, different hood, whatever. Mine's a little longer, it's, you know, it's 280 wheel, it's wheelbase. Um, does it break down? Yeah, it breaks down. There's a light flashing. What the heck is that? Okay, I can't find it. Oh no, it's a lightning bug. <laughs> lightning bugs are out. It's the same color as my lights in here. Whatever. Anyway, like... He's complaining that, tr that this truck keeps breaking down. Well, yeah, they all break down. Um, my truck just lost an alternator here a few days ago. Called my boss up. He went and picked up an alternator. 120 bucks. He came. We put it in. It's, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six screws. That's it. And a pulley. You gotta put a pulley on. You gotta take the old pulley off and you pull it, put a pulley back on. Loosen the belt and put it on. Owner it took it took what, 15 minutes to change it. But uh anyway, when he made that video, he was boo-hooing that uh he couldn't get a light assembly from Packard. He could get the part, but he couldn't get them in. Well, yeah. No kidding. They, uh... It's a wait to get in there. Because a lot of people go there. So... And they are probably laughing at him because he was waiting to have a light assembly installed. Most of them were plug and play, and if it's not just a couple wires, whatever. Turn your lights on. Put it on. Not a big deal. Um... I'm certainly not going to be down for a light. If I can get the part, it's going in. I'm not a mechanic by any means. Um, but I'm not a owner op either. If I can fix it, I'll fix it. If I can't, I call my boss. He comes down and fixes it. It's the way it goes, but I'm a company driver. But to sit there and boo-hoo that it took two days... And a TA to get a light replaced is insanity. Come on, move the truck somewhere else if you have to. Uh, if you're not comfortable installing a light, you can find some place to put it in. You can find somebody to put it in. You can get roadside service to come out and put it in. You could do something. You're only sitting there for two days because you want to sit there for two days and you want to whine and cry because you can't get a light put in, which is fine. Whatever, that's your business model. We're sitting around at truck stops, I guess. Um, it's not Packard's fault, light goes bad. Lights go bad. Um, the engines blow up, as he found out, allegedly, as he allegedly found out, if you don't put oil in them, they blow up. <laughs> which happens, I work, this place I used to work, Oh, shoot. A guy did that. He didn't put any oil in the thing, didn't check it, and it blew up. 
that happens. Um, this isn't rocket science out here. You want your truck to last, you take care of it. Um, another YouTuber was talking about, he said, you need to make sure you get that truck greased every 20,000 miles. Do what? <laughs> you better be doing it more than that once a week. Uh, my truck gets greased every two to 3,000 miles. Um, if you're a company driver, I can see. But if you're an owner op or a lease op trying to get away without fixing things, might be a good idea to grease it. Get yourself an automatic grease gun. Get out of there. Um, my truck takes about 45 minutes to grease. My PTO shaft I have to do at least once a week. Um, at least. Like every 15 loads. Essentially. Doesn't take any hard. I got a creeper. I just whoosh, crawl under there, grease it. Takes about three minutes. Um, once you get good at it, it doesn't take long to grease these. Especially with the, the, I can't think of it. You got a little box. It's got like ten fittings, and it just that does the whole front of the truck. You just go around. Not a big deal. That's a good way. Greasing and oil and making all your sure your all fluids are where they're supposed to be. Making sure your tire pressure where it's supposed to be. That's all part of being a truck driver. And because you don't. Just because you don't do those things doesn't mean it's pack cars fault, Freightliner's fault, or Volvo's fault. That's your fault. Um, uh, one video I was listening to, he's talking about, well, it, it'll start knocking about 20,000 miles. I can hear the front end. Uh, yeah, you waited too long. Get out of there, grease the damn thing. Um, especially being out here in oil field. We gotta make sure shit's greased. But. Take care of your shit. Keep up with the maintenance. Get your oil change. We change oil every 12,000 miles. It's part of operating and owning a truck is maintaining it. Um, if it's a simple thing, fix it yourself. You don't have to, don't. I know people don't want to be mechanics, but don't limit yourself and your money because of a light bulb or something simple. If it's simple, just fix it yourself. It's just the way it is. It's just the way to do it. Unless you like sitting around. Unless you like sitting at truck stops. But I'm gathering. He just wants to sit at truck stops. You need to take care of your equipment. I'm sorry, I got to leave the radio on. Back to that deal. Um, but on these type of pads, I can get in front of the camera instead of just filming the road. But, but the road's better looking to me, so. <laughs> but, uh, take care of your stuff. Keep your truck clean. Some of these YouTube, you see, their trucks are pigsties. Keep it clean. Um, this job is really really hard to keep my truck clean it is really hard i keep wet wipes right there and man i'm wiping off the dash and the steering wheel and everything all the time um i keep i've got a vacuum in here i sweep out the front and back at least twice a week because i'm because i'm insane there's dust everywhere but take care of your equipment and it will take care of you change your fuel fillers when they need changed change your oil when it needs changed grease your truck um, it's not Packard's fault yeah there's lemon trucks but if you're getting truck after truck is breaking down it's not the truck it's you um, I mean a company guy you know you're just gonna run the thing you know that's the way it is 
But if you're out here trying to be a lease op or owner op, take care of your crap. That truck is how you make your money. Take care of it. I only have one truck to drive. That's this one here. And trailer. So I make sure I take care of my truck and trailer. If I see something needs fixed, I tell my boss and we get it fixed. If my fuel filter needs changed, we change fuel filters. I take it back and make sure it gets greased. Um, he doesn't pay me to grease it, so he's greasing it. Just saying. <laughs> but no, I do grease the uh, my PTO for my blower, no doubt. I mean, we don't drive a lot out here. We're, we're doing like 1,200 miles a week. So when I go home, he's got a minute grease gun. He's He's through this thing in 15 minutes. I'm not kidding. Um, saying the pack cars are junk just because you have a bad experience with one it is not. Now the pack car motors, the 2012 pack car motors, they'll get one of those. Those are junk. The dev systems are crap. Um, pretty much anything 2012 dev system is going to be crap, which is what? Where's truck he had all kinds of problems with dev system is which that's just doing your research but this is a 2012 and we don't have dev issues not anymore <laughs> that's for sure um, we take care of our shit take care of your equipment it'll take care of you it's still gonna break down just uh, the more preventative things you can do the better you're gonna be that's all I got. Now uh, y'all take it easy.